we did um, more things than I could ever mention on your broadcast. I'd be in huge trouble. But we did a lot <laughs> of fun things. We never hurt anybody, <laughs> but we always had a blast. And um, got in a lot of fights. Um, we never lost one, thanks to Paul. That's good. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> he was probably one of the, uh, without a doubt, I think, Paul Orndorff and Haku were the two toughest guys in the business in their prime. Uh, they both would have killed each other before they gave up. I mean, Paul beat up seven sheriffs in Hillsborough County one night. No kidding. Over his brother. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. <laughs> no, no. He put yeah. four of them in the hospital and, uh, you know, they had, um, batons out and everything. He was just going through them, uh, one after another, you know, just, 22 year old stud that could just squat 600 pounds. And he was, I mean, he knocked out John Matuzak with one punch. You ever heard of John Matuzak? Hell yeah. Six foot, six foot seven. Um, he, he, uh, they were playing basketball with, um, a pickup basketball game at the university of Tampa Spartans where Paul played football. He also got drafted, uh, and by the saints, I forget, I think it was the seventh round. And um, he couldn't stay with the Saints because the rookie uh, training at rookie training camp, everybody had to stand up on the table and sing a song before they could eat. So, and then the players would throw biscuits at you or something. So Paul's song was Jeremiah was a bullfrog. So if you ever talk to Paul and sing Jeremiah was a bullfrog, he'll look at you right away. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I told you that story because he doesn't share that with too many people. But uh, he couldn't take it, and he quit. And he came back. He came back and asked Eddie Graham. If, you know, Eddie Heck Graham had offered him once before an opportunity to play with, uh, to, you know, try to um, become a professional wrestler. And Paul had thought about that, but he said he wanted to see what football had for him first. And then he came back, obviously after the uh, training uh, training camp um, calamity, and uh, decided to try out with Eddie Graham and. I was really good, uh, had gotten good over, because every summer now, this was my second full-time summer when Paul came in. I had a full-time summer with Hiro Matsuda, Carl Gotch, uh, Nelson Royal, uh, uh, Bob, um, oh, just a bunch of uh, Bob Backland, Briscoes, so many Gordon Nelson, so many awesome shooters um, and hookers, and they taught me a lot. And when Paul came, he was so strong, it was very, very difficult to stretch. And it was only once in a while that I could actually stretch him. I mean, he couldn't, he could not wrestle me, but he was so strong that his brute strength was just, it was incredible, guys. I can't even tell you how strong he was. Just amazing. Oh, yeah!